Hi again! Today we are going to draw this amazing landscape with just a few pencils. The material list is in the description of this video below. Ok, let's begin with a very quick sketch with the ma main uh, silhouettes, the main uh, forms of uh, the mountains. Ok? If you really wish to improve your drawing skills, you can try, or you may try, drawing landscapes, seascapes, and many things of nature, like fruits, trees, etc. Try to draw in the nature. Try to draw, go out of your house or your home, go to the streets, go up to a forest, go to mountains and draw what you see in a very in, in any sketchbook that you have. Draw every day at last at least five minutes because it uh, increases your ability to draw. Okay, now we have our sketch. Now we'll begin to with shadows. For this I'll use this 6B pencil. As you see I'm showing you every pencil I'm using in this drawing. The first pencil I used it was an HB pencil, the neutral, the more neutral pencil there is. Now I'm using a 6B a very black and bold uh, pencil. It is very useful to have many uh, as many pencils that you can afford because with them you can achieve many more uh, textures, many more uh, shadows and effects. Ok, you can draw with just one pencil what you have in your house but when you, when time is going on and you are learning more and more is, uh, advice, uh, I advise you to buy more pencils, ok? They are not very expensive and you can afford it, I'm sure of it. Ok? As you see, I make parallel lines to give the first, the first shadows. But, but, remember not to press too much the point of your pencil against the paper, ok? Instead of it, caress the paper with the pencil, caress, ok? Because paper is a very soft and delicate surface. If you press too much your pencil, you uh, make marks on it. And so, if, if later in your drawing you think you want to, you wish to erase something and it is very marked on, it has left mark, marks on the paper, you will not be able to erase these parts. Okay? So, when you draw, when you give shadows, caress the paper and, e and go uh, layer after layer of graphite making, uh, doing the shadows darker and darker. This is the HB pencil to unify this part of the, moment, mon of the mountains, giving more interest, as you see. Okay. And marking this these uh, edges. With a very soft brush like this, we can blur some parts of our drawing. Be very careful when you blur uh, any part of your drawings because it is a very useful trick but it can ruin your drawing very very quickly. So be very careful. This is just a regular eraser to recover whites where uh, I have, I need to be more white, okay? 
now. With the HB pencil, again, we make like this. These edges are going to be the edges of the clouds. Now we are going, we are going to draw the sky. The sky is very useful to mark the limits of the mountain. Okay, as you see. Let the edges, the upper edges of the clouds as wide as possible and the lower edges of the, of the clouds must be blurred. Blurred. Okay? I don't I don't know if you may understand me because I'm, I have a very a very rusty English because I, it was a long time that there is a there was a long time since I was at USA living and I have not talked a lot of English since then, 20 years ago. So I think I have very lacks of vocabulary, lacks of pronunciation <laughs> and sorry for this. I'm trying to explain uh, as much as I, I, I can. I can. Okay. The sky is now very soft, as you see the lower edges of the, of the clouds are uh, blurred. But with, this, is a, this is not a pencil, okay? This is an eraser, a mechanical eraser that gives us freedom to make some details. It's very, very pointed, it's very thin, and you can, if you can afford one of these, you'll use it all the time because it's very useful okay now so, as you see i recover edges without any effort okay let's take again the 6b pencil and let's begin to draw some trees in this case some first first <sighs> okay we are not giving and drawing uh, too much uh, details for this uh, for this drawing, these trees. Why? Because they are far from us. Everything that is very far from our point of view must be drawn, draw uh, without many details. Okay, details must be close to our to us, close. So, if uh, things are very far, are blurred or without details, we see uh, that they are farther from us. So, we achieve deepness in our drawings. Okay, let's make some first more. Some first, first. <laughs> some, some Christmas trees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you see it's very easy, it just li lines one side and to the other side with a, a light slope. Now, for the other trees that are, uh, and sur that are surrounding our Christmas trees, I'm just making, as you see, circles, tiny circles, circles, okay? I'm scrolling. Okay, after that, I'll uh, blur some part of, it of it. Remember, the lower part of the trees and the shrubs must be darker because their light cannot go as easy as at the upper side, at the, at the top. Okay, with a 2H, 2H, pencil, as you see, I'm remarking, remarking the texture of these shrubs and these trees. 2H pencil is a very hard pencil. It is very useful to unify, to give details and to reinforce uh, shadows that we have already drawn. This is an artistic stamp, okay? It is useful to as you see, to blur some parts of our drawing. Now, 
we laid it in this way and make this with the graphite that has stained the blur, the blur, the stamp. Okay, we are just we have passed the half of our drawing. Little more details are here with the point. Remark these edges, recover whites. Okay, I think it's very beautiful. A powerful and strong landscape. Okay, remark some shadows, some more shadows here below the trees to give it more realism. And with the eraser, we make like this. You see, some lines, and below the lines, we mark some shadows with the HB pencil. You see, to make the little waves of this lake. Now, with the 6B pencil, we make some more trees. These trees are nearer to us, so I make the, them bigger and with more detail, but not too much. And okay, if you have not done already, I suggest you that you subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and to know where I upload new videos. And if you like it and it was useful for you, uh, please click like and share with your friends and neighborhoods and neighbors Okay. Okay, make some straps here and the edge against the, the lake must be dark. Some vertical lines suggest high grass, suggest a uh, little straps. In drawing, when you're when we are drawing, artistic drawing, we may take two ways. Or hyper-realistic uh, drawing, that is perfect or not, uh, is some opinions. Or you may suggest, I think, is much more interesting to suggest things with, with uh, pencil strokes, uh, shadows, etc and let the viewer uh, see what the what their brain can see is much more uh, interesting i think okay a little more here more shadows and we just need to make some other details and our drawing will be finished and we could use it as the way as we wish. Okay, the limit of the water and the earth and the sea of the sea, sea of the earth must be white and black. Okay some shadows below the waves to make the, them more realistic excellent i think recover some shadows and lights more grasses here go free and Go fast when you draw. Make it uh, wild. Make it alive. Okay. Give strong 
a pencil a pencil strokes okay give emotion to your drawings now shadows here because grass is darker when it is close to the soil to the ground sorry soil is to is for plants <laughs> and gardening you know i like gardening a lot okay now we just need to give some uh, a little more um, dramatic shadows with the 8 v pencil i just remark some parts of my drawing to make it a little more interesting a little more dramatic and it is almost finished okay some details what do you think do you like this drawing? Do you like these drawings? Do you wish some drawing I make? Do you make copy or it? Please tell me at the comments line. And now... Okay, it is finished. Bye!